Today on the Stinky News Network, do smells trigger memories and emotions? To find out, here's roving reporter Samantha the Snake with the Nobel Prize winning genius of the science of scent and memory, Dr. Smellbert Einstein. Thanks, Riv. So what's the scoop, Doc? Is it true that a scent can trigger a memory? If you caught a whiff of a skunk more than once, you know the answer to that one. Unlike signals from other senses, such as touch and sight, scent signals go from the olfactory bulb directly to the parts of the brain that handle memory. So when someone smells a scent, it goes straight to the brain and triggers memories and even emotions. How did you get interested in such smelly science? I read the work of a French writer named Marcel Proust, who noticed that the smell of a cake called Madeleine could trigger a memory. In China, there is an old customer passing around a pot of spice while telling a family story, so that people who hear the story will remember it in the future when they smell the same spice again. Uh, I get it. Good smells trigger happy memories. <sighs> Not necessarily. Say you smelled a tasty Madeleine cake, just as a vicious dog growled at you. The next time you smelled a Madeleine, you wouldn't have a happy memory, but a scary one. Hmm, but if good smells can trigger bad memories, can bad smells trigger happy memories? If you smelled a rotten egg at the same time you got an egg on a report card, the next time you smelled a rotten egg, you might remember getting that great mark again. Speaking of good smells and bad smells, a French inventor has made a pill to make farts smell like chocolate. <laughs> Will people have good memories when they fart, or bad memories when they smell chocolate? There you have it, Whiff. All kinds of smells trigger all kinds of memories. Thanks for tuning in, and may all your memories be happy ones. Tell ya later! Mm -hmm.